All right, hey guys, it's Marvel's TCG back in the video, and with this video, I'm bringing a Dunder Dragon uh, deck profile, and this is post uh, the ban list. And um, yeah, we, with the ban list, we saw that there was a bit of a hit to DPE, um, not directly to DPE, but like in the form of its fusion materials. Anyways, decided to get rid of DPE altogether, and um, you can see the deck's pretty different. But I'm just gonna walk it through it uh, for you guys. So here, I run uh, one Effect Veiler. I'm just gonna go through them through the order I see them. Effect Veiler is just another Imperm, the original Imperm, and uh, you're, I'm just doing this just to have names in terms of hand traps, and I think one is it's a weird ratio to have here, uh, but decided to just have the one copy here, uh, at least until I can see what can I can what I can remove in order to replace it, but I'm okay with the one copy there. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, I think this card is busted, if you guys don't know. Uh, using Union Carrier, you're actually able to equip this onto one of your uh, Dark Monsters, and then while this card is equipped to a monster, your opponent cannot switch summon monsters from the extra deck. So that is not fun to deal with for your opponent, but it makes it essentially um, you're pretty much going to win unless they unless they have a really strong monster that's not in the extra deck that can take care of it, or if they have a spell or trap that can remove that monster. But yeah, getting that up is pretty uh, close to just winning it all together, especially with hand traps. I decided to bump down Thunder Dragon Matrix to two copies. Uh, decided that it is a little too much uh, clutter just having three copies of it. Uh, but I am considering running three as well, just because of, there aren't that many Thunder Dragon names. But thankfully, there's a lot of draw cards to go into it, um, especially with like in the form of Maxi and stuff like that. Uh, Lord of Darkness of, um, works as well too. But yeah, just two copies of uh, Thunder Dragon Matrix for for now. And speaking of which, we have two copies of Maxi and two copies of Ash Blossom. Uh, really good generic hand traps. Just two copies for Maxi, just because. Uh, Flunderies can be a little bit annoying to run into and just knowing you can't use that uh, sucks. So I decided to just bump that down. Ash Blossom is a really great card, really great generic um, hand trap. It's just that having three copies of it in your deck um, and like drawing two copies or multiple copies in your uh, hand sucks because you can't use uh, multiple copies in the same turn. So decided to just have two copies there. Uh, here we have White Dragon uh, Wyver Buster. So this one and Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. Pretty standard combo here. Uh, you're just going to be able to use those to actually get into a Link 2 uh, pretty easily. Uh, three copies of Loof Lupine. This card is really great. This is going to be your only normal summon really for the deck. Uh, just being able to banish a card from your hand um, and then banish a Thunder Dragon from your deck makes it just that you're basically it's generating so much value off one normal summon since you can just uh, banish the one in your hand and then activate an effect and then banish a thunder dragon from your deck and activate the effect of that one three copies of thunder dragon because thunder dragon is the og card and it's such a good uh, og card here just because you're actually able to use the effect uh singular um you don't have to use it like right away just to add up to two uh, thunder dragon uh from your deck to your hand you can just use it to add one copy and then just add another copy which is great because you can use thunder dragon titan's effect to destroy multiple cards um and it's a strong card to go into colossus as well because you can use this to just uh, replace itself um basically so it's it's really great uh three copies of thunder dragon dark this card is just able to renew itself and it gives you a quick way quick effect way of uh using thunder dragon titan's destruction effect Thunder dragon hawk is uh pretty strong because he Gives you the opportunity to just uh, switch out your entire hand. It's just another Thunder Dragon uh, in the deck to have too. Because you can see that we're kind of limited on the Thunder Dragons we can have. Just because uh, Dragon Hawk is limited to one. And uh, Dragon War is semi-limited. But Dragon War, really great. This one's pretty important. Just because you're able, when it's banished, it's able to... It lets you special summon a Thunder Dragon monster from your deck. In defense position, which is really good. Uh, because it makes it so much easier to just actually go into, um, you know, one of your extra deck monsters. Like, you can go, uh, if you banish this, you can just go into Thunder Dragon Dark. And then, since Thunder Dragon Dark hasn't used its effect here, uh, you're actually able to use its second effect. That when it's eventually since the grave to add a Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your uh, hand. So, a really strong card to have here. Thunder Dragon Duel is also pretty strong. Um, you, you're not going to sum summon a lot, at least from... Like the situations I've uh, used it, um, but it has really a uh, unique synergy with Chaos Space that makes it uh, just it gives you a chance to just get a free draw on Chaos Space, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus again, really good card for this deck. Just banish, and you can get any Thunder Dragon effect from this card, so really good. Uh, one instant fusion because um, well, you're gonna see the monsters in the extra deck, and I'm gonna explain that uh, later. Uh, but same same reason for the two ready fusion here. 
And um, you want to have these two here just because uh, you're not going to be stuck into only using one if you draw uh, both of them. Three, Allure of Darkness, because Allure of Darkness just like, gives you a free draw two, and then you benefit from the banishing a dark monster from your hand. So, again, that's an obvious three up there. Uh, two, Thundragon Fusion, you're just going to be able to uh, fuse into mainly your Titan. So, it's just a strong fusion card, and uh, during your main phase, except the turn this card is sent to the grave, you can banish this card from your grave and then add a Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. So, it's just a free search from any Thunder card. Uh, from your deck to your hand so really strong there chaos space kind of talked about this but you're just able to ditch one of your cards go into your whole uh white dragon wyvern buster black dragon collapse serpent combo pretty easily and then you get a free draw so an easy uh three of here and then here we have uh the two ready fusion like i talked about uh called by the grave uh you hate hand traps so just don't deal with that and then uh three imperms because imperm is just a really great hand trap and it synergizes well with the other ones, and if you have multiple copies of it, you're still able to use it. Now, before I go to the extra deck, if you guys are enjoying the video and want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And if you want to push your support even further, there is a Patreon link in the description down below if you want to consider doing that. Anyways, uh, for the extra deck here, like I said, we're going to talk about the Instant Fusion and Ready Fusion targets, and here's Kaminari Attack. So Kaminari Attack, the main reason you have this is just that it makes it easier to go into Thun Dragon Titan without actually having to use the Thun Dragon Fusion um, you can use this other uh, summoning method uh, using this card, so pretty great. And then we have Sea Monster of the uh, Theseus, which is a level 5 uh, tuner monster. And the great thing about this, uh, the reason you, you run one instant fusion and one ready fusion, and the occasion you get both, you can actually get a free bear in the floor, uh, since you can just bring these two out and you get a, a generic level 10 Omni Negate. Uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus, is, this card is really strong, and uh, so it's really great that it's limited to one. Um, but makes it impossible for your opponent to add or to search anything out. So it's a really good card just to get out for its turn. And yeah, makes it very difficult for them to deal with it. Uh, three Titan. Titan's pretty strong. Uh, just being able to pop cards on the field. And it's a pretty uh, uh, pretty strong uh, presence with 3200 attack and 3200 defense. So you can actually set it in defense uh, or place it in defense position. And then you can kind of have that in case you're worried about Lightning Storm. Uh, Bear in the floor. So now with this new build that I have. You're actually able to run bear in the floor and uh, yeah having access to an omni gate of course you'd want that especially if you can set it up with the colossus here and the omni gate why not and especially with like if you can set up colossus uh bear in the floor and uh dragon buster destruction sword then you're pretty much gonna win there i i, I don't really see how they'd be able to break that uh, obviously they're able to <laughs> there's a chance that they can but it's very difficult uh striker dragon this is just if you get white dragon uh viber buster or black dragon collapse serpent then you're able to go into any of your link twos so here you can go into hieratic seal in case you want to uh have a bounce access to like a way to bounce one of your opponent's cards uh nightmare phoenix in case you want to destroy a spell or trap um and then here we have the cross sheep in case you want to actually fuse into um or summon a fusion monster onto one of its arrows so that you can like uh link climb so pretty solid there uh, Union Carrier, this is of course uh, necessary if you want to go into the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, and as I went over, that card is busted. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, just be able to shuffle something away. Uh, really annoying, of course you want to run this, it's just an annoying presence. Appaloosa, um, relatively uh, easy to summon, especially if you start trying to link climb with this, just to have some of the gates. Um, pretty strong card, and then Axel Skull Talker, just another way to finish your opponent. But really... Um, I don't think, like, a lot of the times you're going to be able to win just getting Colossus, Titan, um, Bear in the Floor, and then, like, the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Those are going to be, like, a, a lot of the cards that you're going to be summoning. Um, obviously, the Union Carrier for that. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of cards, like, Flex cards that you can change here if you need to. Um, the, I'm still te definitely testing, like, different versions of the deck. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this build. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.